might as well forget you. A new face with a new face and a new name. Why'd you take the apple off the tree? Why'd you have to turn on life? What made you think there's things you had to see? What made you think Love it. Welcome back to What's Going On Seaville, and we have singer-songwriter Jesse Harper. We like it, Jesse. And his dulcet oh, tones. Nice. <laughs> you have a beautiful voice, Jesse. Thank you. What was the name of that song? Um, Keep It Together. Keep It Together. That's, yeah. I think that's one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. I noticed that uh, you chose the genre melodramatic on Facebook. Did you make that up? or? <laughs> No, that, that was actually one of the uh, options from the pull-down menu. <laughs> <laughs> it's either that or hip-hop or thrash metal. Oh, gosh. Neither of better. which are appropriate for your, <laughs> your style of singing. Yeah. I think it's kind of appropriate, though, because your songs are quite passionate and, and it's storytelling. So I think that you chose wisely. Oh, thanks. Yeah. So do you have a, do you have a band that you usually play with, or do you play out solo? Well, I, I play with a bunch of different bands. Um, my my former band that I spent most of uh, the last ten years in was Old School Freight Train. Those guys have gone different places, but now uh, locally I'm playing in a in a cover band called Love Cannon. <laughs> but we play '80s music, but we play it like a uh, bluegrass, nice you know, it's banjo and mandolin and fiddles and stuff like that. So, um, and then when I play my own music, I I usually just just pick random musicians that I'm friends with who want to go play some tunes with me. So no solo? No, no I don't, it doesn't feel good to me. I mean, I, I think of myself as, as a musician, and one of the, the things I like about being a musician is, is sharing music with other musicians or playing off of other musicians. Like, that's, that's nice. one of the most important things to me about playing. Is I'm a huge Buddy Holly fan. 
Oh, yeah. you, you got some Buddy Holly. Uh, <laughs> I know you know, you, you've, had, you've, had to, you've had to like darken your hair for, for at least for one Halloween. Uh, yeah, no, I haven't done it. Maybe <laughs> but next you've just Halloween. given him a great but that's idea. That's what I'm doing next year. For sure. <laughs> next year, it's only yeah. like 31 days away. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have, like I said, you have a lot of passion um, when you sing. Uh, you're obviously very invested in it. Um, where do you get your inspiration? Do you is it from your own life or how you would like your life to be? Or? Inspiration for for songs or just for the for, lyrics? For and the lyrics, I think um, it comes from uh, just. I mean, I sit down with the guitar usually and come up with some kind of some kind of riff or some kind of musical idea. And then I just wait and see what's there. I'll sing nonsense words, or I'll sing, you know, what I think of as like placeholders, oh. like that tune that I was doing before. Um, I, it was a different title for a long time. It had all these different things. It was about something entirely different. And then I had this chorus, "Keep it together, keep it together." So I just kept singing that. You know, how are we going to keep it together? And the song, I had to create a backstory to that, or I had to create something. So you're a storyteller. You're you're a writer. That's that's. I think I'd like to be one. I mean, I feel like I'm practicing at that that's and good, trying though. to get get that together. That's interesting because I guess yeah. there are some authors that maybe have the ending to the story, and then they so they they start with the ending and then work backwards from there. That sounds kind of like what you do. You you get the lyric, the the riff first. Yeah. And then the lyrics. What what kind of music do you listen to? Um, I, I, everything. I mean, I, I would say that I listen to good music. I'm sure everybody would make that case about themselves. <laughs> but uh, my favorite songwriters are um, like James Taylor and uh, Randy Newman, Paul Simon, um, Stevie Wonder. I love Stevie Wonder and uh, Rufus Wainwright. Mm, so, wonderful. Yeah. And how do you feel when you're playing in front of an audience? Most of the time, I feel pretty good. Sometimes I'm, I'm kind of scared. Do you get nervous? <laughs> yeah, I, was ner I mean, I'm nervous to I play. I would never on, have known on, that. It's my first television appearance. He is human, so. folks. See? First one. That should yeah. never stop you. <laughs> Nerves should never stop you. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I made that decision a long time ago that being scared wasn't a good enough reason. There were, there were far too many other reasons to like get up there and do it. That's and, wonderful. Sort of yeah. let your fear be your fuel yeah. to propel you forward. That's a great message. Yeah. That's have, a you been, have you been a musician long? Um, yeah, I'm, I think probably 12 or 13 years now. School That's, band? Uh, no, I wasn't ever in the school band. <laughs> I kind of came into it late. I, got, I started really studying guitar like my senior year of high school. Classical music was what I was studying. Oh. Yeah, and then I went to school for music. And, and now I teach high school music. That's your day job. That's my day job. Yeah. Where did you go to school for music? Um, I went to VCU in Richmond. Great. And I also went to William & Mary in oh, wow. Williamsburg. Yeah. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, it's been wonderful having you here. I would love Thanks. to have you back someday if you'll come back. Absolutely. Yeah, we didn't yeah. scare you too much with the TV. No. <laughs> <laughs> so how are people going to find you? Yes, how do people follow um, you? Oh, well, Facebook or MySpace or Jesse Harper Music, if you just Google that. I, I don't really have a, I'm, have a website in the works. I'm trying to get it to get that to happen. But, but on Facebook, it's J-E-S-S-E -S -S -E yes. Harper yeah. on Facebook. And you'll mm -hmm. also be able to find it on our Facebook page as well, what's mm -hmm. going on in Seville. Yeah. So right. that's great. Well, it's great having you. Thanks. You're, yeah. you're wonderful. You're Thank very you. talented. Would you mind uh, taking us out with a song? Yeah, no problem. Oh, that would be great. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Jesse. Yeah. Stay tuned for what's going on in Seaville.
met a girl I met a girl And now I'm sitting on my porch Yes, that's exactly how it's supposed to be. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's falling, right? Uh, fall? That's porch swing. Oh, porch swing, porch yeah. swing. But you do have one called fall. Falling. I do have one called falling. Falling. Yeah, on the record.